When you're completely healed, narcissists will panic. Everyone. Today, as I bask in the warmth and beauty of the day, surrounded by nature's rejuvenation, I'm reminded of the resilience of the human spirit. Life teaches us that even in our darkest moments, there's always the promise of brighter days ahead, much like how winter gives way to spring. Just as nature emerges from its slumber, so too can we emerge from our past struggles, healed and whole. Yet, amidst this sense of renewal, we must also confront a difficult reality. Navigating relationships with narcissistic individuals who once held sway over us with their manipulative tactics. As we progress on our journey of healing, there comes a time when we must face these individuals again, armed with newfound strength and understanding. We're going to explore the intricacies of interactions between a healed individual and a narcissist. Our increased awareness shifts the dynamics, offering the potential for transformation and liberation from their influence. Before we delve into this topic, I invite you to join our empathetic community. Show your support by liking this video, subscribing for more content, sharing your thoughts in the comments, and spreading the message of healing. Let's embark on this journey together as we navigate life beyond adversity. Have you ever wondered how encounters with narcissists might unfold? There are important factors to consider. With growing awareness about narcissism, their tactics may adapt when faced with someone who comprehends their behavior. They might even attempt to assess your understanding of their manipulative techniques. Here's what you need to know. Narcissists are really good at manipulating people. They can easily switch roles, acting like victims to get sympathy or control others. So, it's important to stay alert and not fall into their traps. While it's normal to want to help someone in trouble, it's crucial to be careful about who you give your sympathy to. Helping people who don't appreciate it or take advantage of your kindness isn't good for you. Unfortunately, navigating interactions with narcissists can be quite challenging due to their adeptness at manipulation and deceit. They often exploit the empathy and goodwill of others by portraying themselves as victims, thereby evading detection and garnering sympathy. While genuine victims deserve compassion and support, narcissists weaponize victimhood to serve their own selfish agendas, using it as a guise to manipulate and control those around them. To shield oneself from the machinations of narcissists, it's crucial to familiarize oneself with their tactics and behavioral patterns. These individuals are skilled at avoiding accountability and deflecting scrutiny, making awareness of their methods essential for self-protection. While kindness and compassion are admirable traits, it's imperative to discern whether they're directed towards deserving individuals who reciprocate such sentiments. One common tactic employed by narcissists is love bombing, wherein they inundate their targets with excessive displays of affection and attention in an effort to manipulate them. However, not every act of kindness should be viewed through a lens of suspicion. It's important to discern the sincerity of someone's intentions and evaluate their consistency over time. By remaining vigilant and attuned to red flags, individuals can mitigate the risk of falling prey to narcissistic manipulation and maintain healthier relationships built on genuine reciprocity. We need to think critically about people's actions. Genuine love and kindness are good qualities, but it's crucial to make sure they're real. Building real connections is important, but narcissists often use the victim role to control others. They might target people who've been through similar things or survived narcissistic abuse before, making them feel like they're part of a group to gain their trust more easily. That's why it's important to stay aware of the victim act and the sneaky tricks certain people use to control others. By understanding why they do what they do, we can spot manipulation and keep ourselves safe from their harmful behavior. Narcissists are adept at using convincing language and expressions to make you believe they understand and care about your struggles. It's easy to fall for their facade and think they genuinely empathize with you. However, most of the time, they're only interested in having someone fulfill their needs. They'll trick you into thinking you're helping them when, in truth, they're just using you for their own benefit. Encountering this behavior repeatedly can leave you feeling foolish and hurt but it's important not to let these experiences stop you from connecting with others. While it's smart to be cautious and stay alert, 
Cutting yourself off from society completely isn't necessary. Whether it's in your professional life or daily interactions, interacting with others is often unavoidable. As someone in education, I believe it's better to learn how to judge situations carefully rather than isolating yourself entirely. Of course, if you prefer a solitary lifestyle, that's completely fine, but even mental health experts recognize that it might not always be the healthiest choice. The best way to understand and judge others is through actively engaging with them and building relationships. Life has so much to offer. Don't let difficult experiences make you bitter or closed off. Keep striving to make your life fulfilling. Narcissists are skilled at playing the victim and using victim blaming to their advantage. They use this tactic to avoid taking responsibility for their actions. Instead of trying to change, they choose the easy way out by portraying themselves as victims. By doing this, they deflect criticism and resistance, making it seem like any challenge to them is an attack on their victimhood. This allows them to continue manipulating others without getting caught easily. It's a sly strategy, but you don't have to let them control your life. Imagine sitting across from someone who always portrays themselves as the victim, even during a simple dinner at your favorite restaurant. They weave a narrative that constantly seeks sympathy, making you feel like they're unjustly treated. Recognizing this tactic is crucial because narcissists are masters at adapting and finding new ways to assert control. One of their latest strategies is playing the victim. I've noticed that some people are more susceptible to falling for the manipulation of narcissists. While it's not foolproof, there are clear signs that someone might be vulnerable to their influence. That's why it's important to stay informed and alert to their methods to avoid getting caught up in their schemes. It's one thing to learn about these behaviors, but it's another to put that knowledge into practice in real-life situations. Like getting certified in a skill, we need to test ourselves to prove our ability to apply what we've learned. Having gone through healing myself, I understand the importance of testing ourselves, building confidence, and embracing self-assurance. Let's challenge ourselves and trust our capabilities. Empowerment comes from understanding, and it's essential to use that understanding to protect and strengthen ourselves. If you've gained insights from this conversation but still feel unsure, it's time to move forward confidently and put your knowledge into action. Your commitment to personal growth and authenticity sets an example for others facing similar challenges. We appreciate your engagement with these valuable insights as your support is crucial to our mission of empowering individuals through knowledge. By becoming a channel member for just $1, you not only unlock exclusive benefits, but also contribute significantly to our goal. Thank you for your unwavering support and dedication to this journey of self-discovery.